Good morning. I want to take this opportunity to welcome all of our members and friends and visitors to being a part of this unveiling. Well, today is September the 23rd, and we've been waiting for this particular day because we believe by faith God is getting ready to do something, something fresh, something new in the life of our ministry. Many of you have been asking, you've been talking, what's all the hype about September the 23rd? What's really going on? with September 23rd. Well, you don't have to ask no more. You don't have to wait no more because it's here. Today is September 23rd. and We're getting ready to open those curtains. But um, before we open the curtains, let me just share with you something that is so important. The Bible shares with us that without a vision, the people perish. Kirby John, one of my mentors, he shares with me that with the wrong people, your vision can perish. But we don't have that problem here. God has blessed us with the right people and God has blessed us with a vision. In Higher D, we have a vision here. Our vision here at Higher D, it is to create a spirit-filled environment where believers can acquire the necessary skills, develop the right attitude, and learn godly wisdom. Listen, we recognize here at Higher D that we nascent saints. We have not arrived to our utopia. But like the Apostle Paul in Philippians 3.14, we press him toward our higher calling. And we believe that God will continue to compel his saints to go to mention high in prayer, faith, giving, worship, service, and pray. That's our vision. But not only is our ministry governed by a vision, we have core values. Here at High D, we believe that people are important. Since they matter to God, they matter to us. Here at High D, we believe that, 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 that administration is the incline and decline of any kind of success. We also believe here that stewardship is important, that we should be good stewards over what God has entrusted us with. Higher D also believe that the Word of God is the final authority. Also, we believe that our youth and children are very important. And to make sure that our youth are prepared in this generation. Listen, God has given us a vision that will help take our youth to another level socially, educationally, spiritually, and financially. I'm, I'm telling y'all too much. I'm giving you TMI, too much information. Listen, y'all ready for this unveiling? It's September 23rd. How you D, it's here. I'm getting ready to open these curtains. Amen. Come on, you clapping, you clapping, you clapping. I feel like the D spot would give us that edifice to just let us give God all the glory and all the love and feel more comfortable. Because if we could do it at the D spot, we could do it everywhere we go. So the D spot means so much to me, so much to the community, because I know it will reach people that can't be reached. And reach people that when they have no place to go, they can come here. We can come in fellowship, us men. The young ladies can come fellowship and embrace each other to get us through the week, because it's hard. I believe that the D spot would be a positive environment for the youth of this community. You can't really go to places such as Fun Place or the movies because there's a lot of gang violence and things of that nature. But I believe that the D spot would be a positive environment for everybody where you can still have fun and be safe. Yeah, the D spot to me is going to be a place where kids can come to a, a church and fellowship the same way they would do outside of church. They could play basketball, do their homework, play video games, watch movies. They could do all that right here in the D spot. The Westwood community has been plagued by prostitution, ineffective parenting, and soaring crime rates. God has called Pastor Jay to liberate and emancipate Westwood by restoring and reviving this once thriving community by implementing a place for its future generation to discover purpose and release potential by educating, empowering, and encouraging our youth not to settle but to take their lives to the next level. Join me as I guide you through a virtual tour of the D-Spot. The Entertainment Center, which will contain the Thirst No More bookstore and coffee shop, 
This will be a totally wireless environment, which will be equipped with indoor and outdoor covered seating. A state-of-the-art movie theater with three screens, enhanced by Dolby digital surround sound for your maximum viewing pleasure. The gymnasium. This facility will have all of the amenities of an upscale health club and even more. Skybox seating. A fitness center with all of the latest equipment. Men's and women's locker rooms and showers. Arcade and game room for the kids. Mama Gwen and Bruh's Cafe, where you can dine on sumptuous cuisine. Enjoy refreshing non-alcoholic beverages at the sports bar. And for the poetry enthusiast, you can listen to a night of spoken word. Pastor Jay's room for mentoring young men and Lady Jay's room for helping young ladies become women of virtue. A finance room, hire you. A computer lab. Big Territory. Big Territory will be a themed, colorful environment that will focus on communicating and conveying God's word age appropriately, as clearly as possible to the children. Through age appropriate activity, base object lessons, and illustrated sermons, Big Territory will bring a real, relevant, and right word to the children on a level that is easily understood, received, and applied to their lives. Wow, hallelujah. What did y'all think? I don't know about y'all, but that was awesome. Come on, you giving God praise already. Come on, come on, go on, high five your neighbor. Come on, high five your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, say, neighbor, are you in it to win it? I don't know about y'all, but God is getting ready to bless not only our children, but also this community by way of the D spot. Some of y'all probably asking, Pastor Jay, how are we gonna do this? A $3 million project approximately? How this gonna happen? How this gonna come to pass? Well, y'all, we know because we are people of faith, there's nothing too hard for God. We know that when we collectively come together, man, that's nothing we can't do. Listen, God has already given us a plan in order to bring this vision to pass. In fact, whenever God gives a vision, He always gives a provision. And so I wanna invite you, I wanna encourage you to partner with me like the Israelites partnered with Moses in Exodus chapter 25 when they created a tabernacle for God to dwell. I wanna invite you to partner with me every Sunday and every Wednesday by bringing your tithe and your offering into the storehouse so that we can erect an edifice that will give glory to God and that will minister to the people of God. I don't know about y'all, but I'm in it to win it. Listen, because I am a man of faith, I know it's done, I know it's finished, I know we've already gotten our it, so we might as well not wait for praise, we might as well praise God right now. Come on, you standing to your feet, you giving God praise, come on, high five somebody, it's finished, in Jesus' name, the D-Spot is here.